Hey guys, it's Adrian, and today I'm going to walk you through how to add additional NVMe storage to your Lenovo Legion 9i laptop, or basically any Legion laptop that has a similar configuration. So let's get into it. To remove the back cover, we need to remove eight screws. So there's four at the top, two on the sides here, and two on the other side. And these are fairly small screws, so you will need, you know, probably um, a type of toolkit like this for smaller devices, phones, and things like that. I'll link it down below if you don't have access to one of those. So I'll get started on removing the eight screws. All eight screws are removed, so to get the back cover out, it's gonna be much easier if you have some kind of a wedge tool like this that you could kind of, you know, slide in and pry it up. Now, worst case, maybe you could use a credit card, not sure, but if you get a toolkit, you know, it does have this type of tapered end to make it easier. If we take a look at the side of the laptop, you could see where this ventilation area is. There's a little bit of, you know, a very small or minor gap that runs along here. And this is where I'm gonna insert this wedge tool to kind of get my first way in. Okay, the rear cover is off and I did have a little bit of resistance at the front. So what's gonna be better actually is if you start at the side with the ventilation that I mentioned, work your way to the back and down to the other side. And just for reference, you know, this is the back of the laptop where all of the ports are. So once you loosen it, basically from this area here, it's easy to just pry the cover off from the bottom here, but don't try to attack it from the bottom. By the way, this is a great time to clear out your fans. You can see I have a bit of dust going on there, so I'm gonna do that before we continue. I'm using this DataVac electric duster. Now it's a little bit expensive, but it's still cheaper in the long run than buying compressed air. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. We're now ready to add the secondary drive to the laptop. So there's this big metal plate here and there's four screws to remove, one here, one there and then if you lift up this kind of protective sleeve here there's another one right there and then under here maybe a little bit hard to see but there's another screw hiding right under here as well you can kind of see it there now this is for the lenovo legion 9i if you have another model and it doesn't look exactly the same one other giveaway is that you could see the current nvme drive just sticking out there and then if I take a look at the drive we're putting in this Vision Tech drive, you know, it kind of matches exactly. So you can figure it out that way as well. So I'm gonna remove those four screws and go very gently and carefully during this step. You don't want the screwdriver to slip, you know, and scratch or damage anything while you're doing this. So four screws, like I mentioned, once all of the screws are removed, very gently lift up this metal plate and then just kind of fold it and leave it here. You can see it's attached with adhesive, so you don't wanna just yank it right out. Looking at a side view, so this is the original NVMe drive and you can see it seats into this mounting bracket here. So we're just gonna slide the drive in, you know, kind of gently, it'll only go in one way, so don't force anything. Before we add the drive, we're gonna remove this retention screw and the way to know which screw to remove is it's exactly in line with the other one for the NVMe drive, the original one. So. Go ahead and start removing this and that's out of the way. With the retention screw removed, we can now seat our drive. So notice this little cutout on the connector end and the half circle cutout. This only goes in one way. So you're gonna place the drive sticker side up to match the original. So we're just gonna very gently slide this in and it can't go any further. And if I press down, notice that it interface or lines up nicely with that uh, retention screw hole. So go ahead and put back the retention screw that you previously removed. And don't over tighten it, just you know, once you feel resistance, that's good enough. So you can see both drives are now installed. Now that the metal plate is back and we can add the rear cover. So the easiest thing to do is to start at the bottom. So where the lid of the laptop is not the rear where the vents are. So you're just gonna kind of lift it up like this, angle it, so it's nice and flush here. And then you're gonna use the rubber feet here since they're elevated and you're gonna to pull towards you. So I'm gonna put my fingers here, pull till I hear that click and I'll do the same on this side. So I'm gonna to pull towards me. You may not hear a click on that side, but it's definitely in. And then you could start pressing down on the sides and rear of the laptop. And once you hear all of the retention clips click into place, give it a once over, make sure everything is nice and flush and you can see I have a bit of a gap here. So I will have to press that in a little bit more, just like so, and just make sure it's flush all the way around. 
And once you determine that, we could re-add those eight screws. The rear cover is back on. We're gonna boot up the laptop, jump into the BIOS to make sure that the motherboard recognizes the new drive. Then we'll go into Windows and initialize everything. Now let's jump into the BIOS to make sure the laptop recognizes the drive. Just plug your laptop in so it's fully charged. So I'll just press the power button and keep spamming the F1 and F2 keys. I can't remember exactly which one um, is to go into the BIOS, but we could see that we're in the BIOS now. And what we're gonna do is once you're in there, go into more settings and we could see here NVMe SSD. The first one is a Samsung and we could see the second one is that Vision Tech Pro that I installed. So I know that the computer recognizes the drive. So we should have zero issues now um, if we go and initialize this in Windows. So now we'll just boot into Windows. Now that we're in Windows, if we go right into File Explorer, so I'll jump into that right now, and I'll go to this PC, and it only shows the original drive, and that's because we haven't initialized the drive we just added. So to do that, go into your Start menu and start typing Disk, and then Manager, and you'll see this option here, Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. This is what we want, so we'll click on that, and it says you must initialize a disk before it can access it. And this is exactly what we want. Now, just leave it on GPT um, instead of master boot record. So we'll click OK. And now if we expand this, I could see that disk down here. So it's disk one, uh, 931 gigabytes unallocated. So we still can't use it at this point. We now have to allocate it. So click on the driver and be very careful. Do not touch uh, your existing driver. You're gonna wipe everything. See, it says Windows, um, leave that alone. So the one that says unallocated, right click on it, go to new simple volume, click next. And we want the maximum size here, unless you want it to split it, but I just want it all in one drive. I'll assign it to drive D and I'll keep it as NTFS and I'll keep everything basically as the default and I can call this drive um, uh, Vision Tech and then I'll go ahead and hit next, finish and we'll let Windows do its thing and now the drive is ready. So you can see we now have our C drive and D drive and we have full access. You can install you know, games or other programs or you know, video files, which is what I'm gonna be using it for. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It truly does help me out. And don't forget to check out some of my other tech reviews. I review keyboards, monitors, desktops, laptops, etc. I'm sure you'll find something you like, and I hope to see you in the next one soon.